Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Prince Mason. I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'm going to show you how I dodge and burn my image. Now, dodge and burn basically is highlighting and contouring makeup. All you're doing is you're highlighting the, the highlighted parts already and you're burning your shadows just to make your image stand out and to bring out the person's features on the person's face or maybe the person's outfit just to make the person or whatever you're dodging and burning look better. So when you dodge, you dodge your highlights and when you burn, you burn your shadows. Uh, how I dodge is and burn is I use the traditional ways. So um, I'm going to show you. Let's not talk too much and just jump into this. Um, I'll create a new layer here, right here, above my frequency separation layer. Then I'll come to edit, fill, and I'll change my content to 50% gray, leave my blending on normal, opacity on 100. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll come here, change my blend mode to soft light yeah and um, duplicate this layer name this first one dodge then I'll name this one burn and I'll put both in a group and name the group dodge and burn now it's good when you have um, an action that does all this for you the actions online you can download them um, you can learn how to create your own actions it's not that hard so you do not have to do this for every Every picture imagine if you have to edit 10 pictures and you have to do this it's just going to be too hectic so now moving into dodge and burn I'm going to pick my dodge tool right here and um, my range is usually mid tones I'll set my exposure to three um, check protect tones um, this is me working non destructively a lot of people do not like this technique for dodge and burn but this is the one I use I actually like it and um, I'm going to jump in and dodge like I said dodging is for the highlights and um, as you can see, the highlights where the light falls on the face, right here at the top of the head, um, the cheeks, probably under the chin, your collarbone and all these places that are highlighted. Then burning is for the shadows. So burning is like contouring. You check the side of a face, um, probably just a little bit on top of the head. And some other places, you sometimes you zoom in to dodge and burn your details. But when I'm doing the full face, I actually you know, like to um, see the full image while I dodge and burn. So let's get into it. I'm going to start dodging and burn. And that trick or and that tip that I'm going to teach you guys is sometimes turn off your frequency separation layer so you can actually see how the original image looks. It's going to help you dodge and burn a lot more better. So yeah, so I'm going to start dodging and burning my image as you can see. I'm using a very small brush, making sure that I'm getting where I want exactly. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be pretty fast so I do not waste you people's time. Um, now, when I click my frequency separation, when I bring it back and I toggle my dodge and burn, can you guys see that? Looks really nice to me. Um, okay, so I'm going to do underneath the chin right here. Mm -hmm. uh, down this part of the nose. I'm going to do the forehead. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Then the collarbone right here. All in the spot. Um, you need to increase and reduce your brush depending on where you're dodging and burning. So you do not um, start dodging your shadows or so you do not start burning your highlights. Like I said, you dodge your highlights and you burn your shadows. Okay, this image, um, yeah, I'm actually doing this in a hurry, please um, take your time, there's no hurry in retouching, you just have to be very careful with um, your retouching so that you do not overdo it or you know, underdo it sometimes. Um, let me see how that looks, okay, so I like that, now I'm just going to jump to the burn without wasting too much time, my exposure is on 3.2 and um, yeah. I'll probably just close my frequency operation so I can see. Yeah, looks good. Then touch the nose, burn the nose, I mean. Then um, some little details on the face. I'll probably go in and do, do all this a lot more just to make them stand out okay, like this one like we're not trying to change how she looks we're just trying to enhance her features and make her look better 
Mm -hmm. um, like this here. I'm going to bring our collarbone back a bit more. Mm -hmm. and just, mm, I'm going to bring this up. And for the hand, okay, you can use a big brush and go and touch this place here. Okay, so let's see how that looks now. So this is the before and this is the after. As you guys can see, we haven't done a lot. Just a little here and there and the image already looks really good. Now, um, I'm still going to zoom in, you know, go with my dodge tool. I'm going to change this to my dodge tool. Yeah, and um, probably set my exposure to 10 this time because I want to work on her lips. I want her lips to, I want the highlights on her lips to actually um, pop a little more and yeah so basically this is how I dodge and burn um, I would advise you take your time you know learn this technique and um, you know become become a, a lot better at it so yeah um, take your time learn this become better at it I hope um, this helps somebody out there um, just keep retouching keep trying retouch every day if you can and um, keep doing your thing and you obviously get better so yeah guys this is the final image um this is the before and this is the after you guys can see how much the dodge and burn did before and after anyways thank you for watching the video and staying to the end um please subscribe like and share thank you very much and i'll see you guys later peace